quarter of a century. Mr. Robert Page has been the conductor of the Mendelssohn Choir. Uh, Maestro uh, out throwing out the ceremonial first pitch and then conducting his fabulous choir and singing our national anthem. Robert, great to have you with us, sir. Oh, I am thrilled to death. This is my last official active action as conductor of the Mendelssohn Choir of Pittsburgh. I couldn't have uh, come across in, in more of a stirring fashion. Wonderful. Oh, rendering. this is this is incredible. I, you know, coming to this park anyway is an experience, but to be a part of this is beyond belief. Now you're extremely deserving. And I love this. Look at how yeah, this you thing look looks. You made the team. You made the team. <laughs> That's right. But as I said, my pitch was slightly un not perfect. <laughs> well, you've got time to work on it now. <laughs> That's right. The pitches I work on are a little different. Ah, uh -huh, very well <laughs> done. Right. Very well done. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. Now, was this a fastball, curveball? What was this? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All of the above. Yep. Well, it's, That's it's right. It's like a good I, sinking I fastball. Who said that almost in E flat? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Well, how did, uh, did, uh, did the choir perform as you hoped they would tonight? Oh, they did. They did beautifully. They always do. Ben. I they, know they do. They I know. always do. And my Something. conscience, yeah, whether you know it or not, Lanny's wife, it was my assistant with the Mendelssohn for several years. And in fact, she was a student of mine at Carnegie Mellon. She's a wonderful lady. And I don't know how in the hell Lanny ever found her. Oh, thanks know. a lot. Yeah, see, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's one of those... One of those things. That's right. That's right. It was beautiful. Just one of those things. Right. That's Cole Porter. Brown ball to uh, Jack Wilson. And one away. Now, That's you fine. know, because you and I have spent a good bit of time together, uh, I, I, I'm I, proud of the fact that I can inform Pirate fans of the uh, the great piece Carmina Burana by That's Carl right. Orff that is played each day. Uh, and, and the Mendelssohn's going to perform Carmina later this year, correct? We're doing it in September, yeah, with the Pittsburgh Symphony. And uh, I don't know how many times we've done it, but it's always it's always a thrill. I will never forget the first time I came to a Pirates game and I heard Car Carmina Burana out here. I, 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 I thought I'd died and gone to Heinz Hall. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's something very stirring about an, uh, a rendering of the anthem done by a group that large and when it sounds that great. It's just, it gives you goosebumps. You've heard it a thousand times, but it was just absolutely wonderful the way it came across from right center field into everybody's uh, everybody's now, heart. <laughs> I would. I wish that uh, we had that kind of a rendition of the national anthem every time. I couldn't agree I more. I must say that I don't care for a lot of the renditions that I hear <laughs> at ball games. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, yeah. I think the the national anthem should be really set apart from any other kind of music. It's our country, man. Robert, tell Steve and, and our viewers the, the story about when you were in uh, in Texas. I think you were you were conducting high school choirs at the time, right? And you went to the football coach for help. That's right. Oh, when I was teaching at Odessa High School, you remember the Friday nights, uh, the show, the, what is the movie the Friday movie, nights? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's about the, high school football. That's where I used to teach at Odessa High School, and I uh, the first thing that I did is that I went to the football coach and I said. I want that football team on the top row of my risers. What do I have to do? And he said, sell popcorn at every game. I said, you've got it. So <laughs> I had that back row filled with these studs. And I tell you, I sold popcorn till it was coming out of my ears, you know. <laughs> but it really worked. And that was 50 years ago. Just yesterday. And I still hear from Walter Cooley, a, a second base, and one of one of the strongest football players Odessa ever had. I still hear from him. That is so wonderful. Go, more yes, with uh, Robert Page in a moment, and a little bit of the national anthem with the Mendelssohn Choir. Sounded great. Uh, the, uh, Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Uh, along with that rendering, I, I, I do love that. But when I hear a, a military band do the anthem too. The same thing. I, oh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's stirring and it's done correctly it's and, exactly. and it is an honoring of the country. It really is. <clears throat> it's, 
I grew up in Connecticut, and we would have the, on the Village Green on Memorial Day, we would have uh, we would have over a loudspeaker, uh, Stars and Stripes Forever. Uh, That's John right. John Phillips sued them. Just it was just part of growing up. <clears throat> that was the we way it was. We just did a series of concerts with the River City Brass Band, mm. and you know that was a gas. Ten concerts with them, and we did everything from John Philip Sousa to 76 trombones to operatic selections. Oh, it was just a ball, just a blast. Well, it sounds like, looking at you, you've had fun. You have had a lot well, of fun. Well, at, at this point in my life, if it's not fun, I'm not going to do it. There you go. you got the choice. <laughs> I learned that from Lanny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's such an honor to have you. Thank you for coming oh, up and what being a, a part of this. What a privilege for me. Thank you. And this is a neat view across my, here. Incredible. And, and the, oh, for my, you don't see all of this down there. And the, and the darker the it gets at night, yes. it seems like the city comes across to you. Stand by. Looks like an opera set. Robert Page, the uh, conductor of the Mendelssohn Choir, he's also in charge of uh, the uh, choir programs when the Pittsburgh Symphony uh, needs uh, a choir program. And uh, also uh, Bob is the uh, Paul Mellon uh, Professor of Music and Choral Studies at Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, eight Grammy nominations, uh, two Grammy Awards for Robert Page. You were just telling us in between innings, you recently <coughs> did a concert or a series of concerts with River City, correct? Correct, correct. Dennis Caldwell uh, was a freshman when I took over the job as head of the School of Music at Carnegie Mellon in the in the mid 70s, and uh, we've been we call ourselves the two freshmen. <laughs> we were there to, <laughs> we were there together. It was my first year and his first year, and I'm so proud of what he has done with that band and this city. Do you realize? Do you realize the cultural richness that this city has? Well, before I met Christine, I did not. Well, I think that that's I think that that's probably the case with a lot of people. They don't know that cities like Cleveland or uh, San Antonio or any of the cities of the same size, they don't touch us. They don't touch us in in, in cultural activity. It's incredible. Well, it has been stated <clears throat> that during your 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 final year with uh, the Mendelssohn, but you're still going to be doing concerts with the Mendelssohn for a while, correct? Oh yeah, I'll be working with them uh, in the fall during the transition. Look at that. Oh, I'd love to have been down there and caught that thing. I was just thinking. <laughs> I was just thinking if, if you bought a glove with you tonight. <laughs> what bigger thrill for anybody any age to catch a major yeah. league foul ball? You're right. Three to one in favor of the Washington Nationals. Do you have what is your all-time favorite choral piece? Oh, don't ask me that. It's okay, the one I'm working. It's the one I'm working on at the time. But the the piece that we ended the season with the symphony, the Dream of Gerardius, I'd wanted to do that for at least 20 years here, and nobody said no, 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 it would not go. Well, it was incredible, and Andrew Davis was thrilling with, with the work and the choir was at its best and it was a great send off for me you know it was a great a great time Could how, how did we get you from odessa that had you're to be just quite, you're what, just what? lucky <laughs> <laughs> and you're right <laughs> that's quite a transition from odessa texas to Listen, pittsburgh i lived in odessa new mexico new york pennsylvania and i'm glad you kind of Stopped your I'm a here. Died in the wool Pittsburgher now. I don't think that it'd take an act of God and Congress to get me out of here. Hey, before we get the final out and you have to right. scoot out of here, uh, also right. talk a little bit about your, your lovely wife, Glenn. <clears throat> uh, I trust that she's home Glenn watching our Glenn allows me tonight. to do these sorts of things. Glenn is wonderful. And she was on the faculty at Carnegie Mellon for um, several years, many years, and retired about five years ago. And uh, she was head of the uh, music theater. Uh, vocal division and uh, her students are on Broadway and in soaps all you know all the time wonderful some yeah. of the hottest Broadway stars are her students we're so happy she let you out tonight well she does occasionally <laughs> <laughs> and and also tell us about your two very talented daughters oh yes I have two great daughters 
Paula is the oldest, and she is the uh, principal harp for the Houston Symphony. And Carol Ann is an internationally known singing actress. She does uh, music theater as well as opera and concert work. And I have three great, wonderful grandchildren, two of whom are quite musical, and the other one is just plain beautiful. Well, you are blessed, and we are blessed to have you. We uh, are. Robert, thank you very much for thank being you. with us we tonight. We are blessed to have thank you. you. Congratulations thank you. to you for thank an you. illustrious career. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Delighted to meet you. My pleasure. And you know Mary Colleen over here. She's she's one of my wonderful singers yes, also. We know. She's new. She should have been there 10 years ago. to our great city and to the Pittsburgh Symphony and to the Mendelssohn Choir, this jersey with the number 05 of 2005 to Mr. Robert Page. Robert, if you would go center stage now and throw out our ceremonial first pitch to Barry Miller. Robert and Barry, they'll join your colleagues in center field. Here in the fourth. And you want to see if you can shut this down right away. Because